This video is one in a series that answers your questions about food and cholesterol. It's brought to you by AllAboutLoweringCholesterol.com, the leading cholesterol lowering website, visited by more than one million people per year. What are the foods that lower cholesterol? It's just simple and common sense. Foods that lower cholesterol are those that do not contain high amounts of saturated fat. Just think, saturated fat, bad, avoid it. Fruits and vegetables, good, yes, they're the foods that lower cholesterol. There are varying degrees regarding the food that you can consume. For example, there are cholesterol-free foods that you can eat as much as you want. One of the cholesterol-reducing foods is extra virgin olive oil. It increases HDL cholesterol. That's the good kind. Olive oil can also help clean your arteries from built-up plaque. The net result? Lower cholesterol levels. It's recommended that you eat high-fiber food items like green leafy vegetables and green salads. They should form an essential part of your daily menu. At the same time, try to eat whole wheat bread as compared to refined flour bread. Plus, whole grains and pulses are preferable to refined ones. Kidney beans and lima beans are examples of pulses. Here's a list of foods that lower cholesterol. Oat cereal. Cereals containing flaxseed, whole grain cereals, all types of fruits, especially currants, grapes, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, citrus fruit and apples, pecan nuts, walnuts, olives, and soy nuts, dried or canned beans, peas, and lentils. Here's some more foods that lower cholesterol. Corn, fresh, frozen, or canned, soybean products, whole wheat bread, all vegetables, especially onion, watercress, leeks, spinach, carrots, artichokes, avocado, broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. A variety of flavorings, herbs, and spices, especially fresh garlic. Lean meats and chicken, salmon, swordfish, tuna, and trout. And canola and olive oils and margarines made from these oils. Well, that's quite a list of foods that will help you lower your cholesterol. For more information on cholesterol foods and diets, and to view the entire video series all about high and low cholesterol foods, go to www.allaboutloweringcholesterol.com forward slash cholesterol foods. Omega-3 fatty acids, so who cares about those funny named acids? You do, because these unsaturated fatty acids are thought to promote heart health and reduce the risk of heart attack and high blood pressure. So you want to figure out where those omega-3 fatty acids are and eat some. If you have a family history of heart problems, you should definitely eat lots of omega-3 fatty acids, which are found prominently in fatty fish like salmon, shellfish, mussels, clams, and oysters. So eat those items, salmon, shellfish, mussels, clams, and oysters, and you'll get uh, omega-3 fatty acids, and that will lessen the likelihood of your having heart problems. Cholesterol is a fatty substance that's produced naturally by the body. Dietary cholesterol is cholesterol in foods. It occurs only in animal products, never in plant food products. So for testing purposes, is salmon an animal? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> so. Just a little helpful hint there. Salmon's not generally thought of as an animal. Serum cholesterol is in the blood. When doctors check a person's cholesterol, they're trying to measure how much serum cholesterol is in the blood. A person with high blood cholesterol levels should eat pasta and vegetables as their main source of protein. I'm trying to save you from studying too much stuff that you don't need for the test. So some things that uh, I just want to give you an alert that just uh, know this for your general knowledge is good information, but you don't have to memorize it. When doctors check cholesterol levels, they're trying to measure how much serum cholesterol is in the blood. 
to do that, they measure the L the VLDL, which is very low density lipoproteins, the LDL, which is low density lipoproteins, and the HDL, high density lipoproteins. VLDL and LDL, the very low and the low density lipoproteins, are known as bad cholesterol. Above a certain level, 240, could indicate a higher risk of um, heart disease, two times higher. So that's over 240 uh, LDL. HDL is known as good cholesterol. It clears cholesterol out of the circulatory system and greater than 60 is protective against heart disease. So you'd like lower than 240 LDL and higher than 60 HDL. Apples are an example of a food that helps to lower cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is found in shrimp, which contains two to five times as much cholesterol as other shellfish. So given a choice, if your cholesterol is high, you'd rather have lobster than shrimp. Animal products. You never find cholesterol in vegetables, always in animals. For example, poultry, chicken mostly. Chicken has almost twice as much cholesterol as turkey, but they both have quite a bit. The biggest providers of trans fatty acids include spreads, margarine being the worst, canola oil being the healthiest choice, shortening like Crisco, packaged foods like cake mixes and Bisquick, soups like ramen, soup cups, fast food, fries, chicken, anything deep fried and partially hydrogenated oil. Frozen foods, pot pies, waffles, pizzas, fish sticks, baked goods, donuts, pound cake, cream filled cookies, all of those would be high in trans fatty acids. In other words, not good. To lower the risk of developing high blood pressure or to help control it if you already have it, Minimize consumption of animal and hydrogenated vegetable fats. This will reduce saturated fats, trans fats, and dietary cholesterol. Oranges, bananas, cantaloupe contain high levels of potassium that if eaten in, su in sufficient quantities can help to lower high blood pressure. So you want to eat oranges, bananas, and cantaloupe. Most adults in the United States consume more protein than they need in their diet. High dietary intake for animal proteins may increase your risk of heart disease because of increased intake of saturated fats. Excess protein is converted to fat for storage, so if you eat too much protein, that will be converted to fat. Proteins build and renew body tissues, generate heat and energy, provide amino acids that aid in body functions. Examples of proteins would be meat, fish, legumes, walnuts, almonds, breads and cereals, vegetables, dairy products. Why do I have some of them in a different color? I'll let you guess on that, why you need to know them better than the other ones. Complete proteins contain all the amino acids in the proportion you need. They are found in animal and soy products. Example would be chicken, complete proteins. Incomplete proteins are deficient in one or more essential amino acids. They're plant-based sources of protein. Examples would be combining rice with red beans, which is two incompletes. Rice and red beans are both incomplete, and that would equal a complete. So for people who are on the, who are vegetarians and 
get their protein from um, from vegetable sources, uh, beans, nuts, and that. You need to know what you're doing. So here's an example of put rice together with beans, and you're good to go. Eggs contain high quality protein. The white contains protein and some riboflavin. The yolk in eggs is an excellent source of vitamins A, D, good source of riboflavin, fair source of thiamine, also an important source of iron and phosphorus. The egg is called the perfect food. Someone who is allergic to soy based products should avoid egg substitutes. Egg substitutes would have uh, soy products in there, so don't want to give that to somebody who's allergic to eggs. Which of these foods is high in protein and low in fat? That would be the turkey breast.